one of the things that when we are blocked in a will structure, uh, the, the ability why we constantly act and do or save the world is a strategy to avoid being with our pain. And that doesn't matter if you have late or early will. You know, the behavior, you know, early will will, you know, boom, boom, boom themselves. Late will will boom the others. No. But it's simply a defense and a coding and a strategy because I don't know how to be with pain. And for will structure, the most painful thing is the sense of helplessness. They can simply not contain it. So they will create all kinds of strategies not to get there. And honestly, when we retire our will structure, not the unbalanced will structure, then our true power comes forward. Because you cannot really be in your power before you know how to surrender to helplessness. That's fucking scary. Talking from a will structure. <laughs> <laughs> and painful. And necessary. And we cannot do that alone. And we cannot do that without a good butt. Uh, and uh, 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 um, we, and then different people need some other. We need the connectedness too. Because for will structure, helplessness brings them out, uh, makes them experience being abandoned or being lonely. You know, it's the structure that rather want to work themselves to death than feeling help, experience helplessness. I did the, the, when I mirror uh, 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 people in pain or suffering, I get very awake and active. Will? Does this villain? No. Oh my God, I need to save, to help, to do. Because saying, just being there and not doing, not saving, not creating, will get me into my helplessness. Then. And there, um, it's like losing yourself. It's really interesting. Many things is really This is really interesting. But you see, a will structure often gets stuck here. Mm -hmm. you know, uh, they don't spend in will, they don't analyze here. If it's only will structure, it's also right, wrong, right, wrong, do not require an analytic mind. Because uh, I am right, therefore everyone that is not like me is wrong. I don't have to analyze that. <laughs> and I don't even need to tell you what right is, because if you don't know, you must be the wrong one. Uh, uh, so, uh, and choices and consequences is not for will structure. Und Wahl und Konsequenz. If we stop there. It's also why will structure you use word I have to. Someone has to do it. Jemand muss es doch machen. Uh, there is no other choices. Dann es gibt keine Wahl. Uh, they use word that is avoiding choices and consequences. 
vermeiden. I was forced to. Uh, ich wurde dazu gezwungen. Okay, did someone put a gun to your head? Uh, uh, because if I stay there, I don't have to sense the choices, the consequences, the pain, and the powerlessness. And that's why I, a will structure will perceive any consequence as a threat. So even any boundary as a threat. So if a, if they do something and you say, if you keep on doing this, then I do not want to be your friend. Don't you threaten me. I'm not threatening you. No, I'm asking, telling you the consequences of your action. Ben, because you have all the right to choose to keep on doing that. It just will have that consequence. I don't want to be close to that. <coughs> so now you have a choice. Jetzt, jetzt you want to keep on doing the action? Willst du weiter diese Handlung machen? Well, you want to have connection with me. Oder willst du Verbindung mit mir haben? That's your free choice. Das ist eine freie Wahl. Or you want to try to go into a negotiation. Oder yeah? That's also a possibility. Das ist auch noch eine Möglichkeit. Uh, but often a will structure will right away react with don't you threaten, you threaten me or don't decide over me. Mm -hmm. no. Don't you threaten me. Huh? That's the way they avoid choices and consequences. That's it. So will, will, will structure often live inside, will give me a bath, but don't make me wet. Hmm? That really means uh, I, I, really, I really want to change, but don't change me. Yeah. And of course, because they, here comes the fear. Weil da die Angst kommt. Here comes tremendous fear. Eine große Angst. Because here is the fear of loss, loss, pain, sadness, Traurigkeit, and realizing I'm powerless. Und so to avoid sensing that, uh, 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 and keep my illusion of my everlasting power, I don't go there. Yeah. Ooh. Now the energy shifted in the room, you notice? Merkt ihr, wie die Energie im Raum sich verändert? Ja, hier. What does embracing powerlessness look like? Was? How, like, how is that healthy? Wie, auf welche Weise ist das gesund? I want to fuck you now. Okay. Uh, this is a strong point because you, you just lost your wife. But when you, you are with someone who's dying that you love, you're gonna get in to sense the essence of powerlessness. Mm -hmm. no. And if you cannot lean into that, accepting it deep inside of you. Now, I, and now I need to tell you, I'm even getting a little, for me, because it's a difficult place, I even get a little disgust. I get a little mm -hmm. nausea when I'm saying that. Und, und so that means I, need, I have to lean in and accept my nausea. My heartbeat goes higher, I have to accept my fear in it. And yes. Now it hurts in my shoulders. Jetzt tut es in meinen Schultern weh. You know, so leaning in means if I really want to be able uh, to get the power to connect to you, I have to accept the powerlessness in this situation. I am powerful here. And that means I have to accept these powerful emotions uh, and sense that comes up in me and uh, not trying to run away from them. It seems like there's a paradox because there's, yeah. and, and this is what I'm sensing, there's a paradox
Yeah, or uh, uh, being in power is also an illusion. Mm -hmm. We can use the word control, or we can use the word uh, 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 the surrender to the powerlessness is a deep acceptance of these very difficult emotions we constantly are trying to run away from. And will structures illusion into this control of powerlessness is if I just do, I can act myself out of any situation. So through action, they think that they can keep power or control. And when you really surrender into uh, letting go of that illusion and, and, s and can stay with these powerful emotions that rise, then in a way you become a very powerful person. Dann wirst du, wirst du sehr kraftvoll. Because in there, fear transformed to something else. And I think that's why, if you look uh, in different spiritual direction, this is very much what they are talking about. And in, can I finish the sentence? It's okay. In my mid twenties, uh, when the AIDS epi uh, epidemic was really high, uh, me and eight other friends. We created an association. Danish people always create associations. Yeah, well. Because I don't think anyone should die alone. Uh. And everybody treated these people with AIDS like plagues and fear and... <laughs> so I have been sitting and being and lying and holding many dying people. And for me to be in co really in contact, I have to go through my powerlessness. Und And I'm happy I didn't know that when I created this association, because then I would have been too fucking afraid. But I am so blessed today that I learned that very early in my life, uh, for me very early in my life. Um because it has a, a tremendous power. Then there is a lot of power. And uh, I think there is many Buddhist stories about the, the sword man, the man with the sword, and the Buddhist with nothing but really with the power. But honestly, I think you can find it in the Bible, in all religion. The, the, this is the part of where, for me, it helps with the, the vision for me with the God's hands, what, however you perceive yeah, God. Huh? Physically activating some muscle and allowing them to lean into something bigger. No. So if there is uh, such a big emotion like, like losing, lost, coming up, uh, how do I know that I will not dissociate, uh, dis dissociate uh, um, in this emotion? Uh, uh, we will, if, it, if I cannot contain it, then it will go into an instinct. No. And that's uh, one of the places where uh, it's important uh, with energy management. What can I handle now and when do I need to, you know, have a break? And, and in so tough a process of losing someone you love, you will dissociate. And that's okay, that's taking a break. No, no and this is in order, weil das eine Pause verschafft. But it's important to come back again. Aber es ist wichtig, dass but it's something we should remember to take in. in all aspects of our da daily life. Because it also lies in the small illusions in your daily life. Then it's like if I only do more. Wenn ich nur ein mehr würde. If I only blah blah. Wenn ich nur ein mehr so. If I only, you know, and, and 
it is even a little dangerous place because if you read in books, if I only do more, if I only love him more, then this illusion of power also have a little ring of a narcissist. You know, so, so this one that my power can save you. My no, uh, uh, that is an, uh, and we have them very much subtle in our daily life. But it's interesting to see when we go into this part of illusion of power. You know, this is even the small ones. The kleinen, we lose our sense of center. So, so. Uh, it's, a, it's an interesting place that will, will structure get lost in. And part of it is, of course, this little child that get lost into, if I save the world, then there will be space for me to be seen. And save the world is mom and dad. Und die Welt retten ist uh, Mama und Papa. So it's partly taking a responsibility on your shoulder that is way beyond reality. And, that's why and then this coding of this illusion are we told in ourselves many times not to be the truth. Yeah. So, uh, it's a uh, uh, and coming back to, so just to anchor it a little, coming back to that then I don't need to make choices and consequences. Und that means, that doesn't mean that you don't do something because will structure are doers. They constantly do something. Constant, was Mama. But they do not do it out of a choice, Aber die a conscious choice where they even already have said, okay, this choice has these consequences. They experience, they have to do it. There is no other way. And all these senses, there is no other way, I have to do it, someone has to do it, avoiding no, it choices. Keine, es gibt, es gibt and when I work with soldiers, I'm always saying, choice, the person who can make choice and can deal with the consequences is a free man. When you don't do that, you're just a slave. You live like a slave. Maybe the master is in your own head. The you. No. But it's slavery behavior. Aber das ist Sklavenverhalten. You know, only a slave has no choice. Nur ein Sklave hat keine Wahl. No, not a free person. Das ist keine freie Person. So, so it's a very, uh, and in, in, a, in a will structure they avoid it because they are so afraid. No? Und die Willensstruktur vermeidet das, weil sie so viel Angst hat. So they skip this. I 